subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about decision trees. We get a graphical intuition about decision trees. This graphical intuition will help you a lot in understanding our next classes. So in our previous classes, we already discussed about support vector machine, logistic regression, naive base and k nearest neighbors. So please follow our playlist from the starting so that you will have a better understanding of uh, complete machine learning concepts. So coming to the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So let's take an example data set and understand what's decision tree is. The example data set which we consider here is credit card approval data set. For understanding purpose, we are taking a simple data set. But in reality, the data sets are not that much of simple like this. So you keep that point in your mind because it's very important. For understanding purpose, we have taken this data set. So our data set is credit card approval data set. We are taking two columns, A's and salary. Based on the A's and salary, it was given that uh, whether the credit card is approved or not approved. Here Y means S, credit card has been approved. N means no, credit card has not approved. So coming to the, this is our data set. Both are same data sets. So this is our data set. The goal of decision tree is to identify the logic that hidden in this data set that is what the decision tree do so let's identify the logic hidden in this so that we will understand what's decision tree is so by the by looking at this data set uh, what we are doing here is uh, a is less than 30 we are making a separation a is less than 30 and 30 to 40 one separation above 41 separation that is what we have done here a is less than 30 30 to 41 separation greater than 41 separation so in this separation again identify at less than 30 what we have by looking at this data set what we understand here is a salary greater than 30,000 uh, we are having all s salary less than 30,000 uh, we are having all no the same way in 30 to 40,000 salary all the customers are getting credit cards at this age and uh, above 40 age salary greater than 20,000 we are getting all S salary less than 20,000 we are getting all no that is what this is what decision tree is so the goal of decision tree is to identify the decision rules so we identified some decision rules we use this decision rules for doing prediction on future data testing data so how we do prediction we will understand it later this is what decision tree is identifying these decision rules so how we identify these decision rules all those concepts will be clearly discussed in our next classes so this is what decision tree is okay once we identified this decision rules how we do prediction on this new data set is new data is suppose a new customer has come in and his age is 20 and he is having a salary of 20,000 so our testing data point comes here by using this decision rules a is 20 so we come this side and sal less than 30 means we come this side what is it showing here it is showing it as no means our prediction is no so that is how we use this decision rules for doing prediction this okay and uh, the important point you have to understand here is uh, if you are following us from the previous from the beginning of our classes in our previous classes we discussed about support vector machine and logistic regression so logistic regression and support vector machine are good when the data set is linearly separable or almost linearly separable data set but look at this data set this data set is not linearly separable data set but we can apply decision trees on non-linear data sets also that is the important point you have to understand that's why for understanding that purpose we made this separate class graphical intuition because decision trees the decisions itself is separating our data that is it is giving us non-linearity that's what you have to understand here okay and one more important point we have to understand here is we started with 
is so why we have to start with is why not with cell we are having two columns why not with cell so let's start with the cell and identify the logic so we can understand the difference what we get when we start with cell so we started with cell so salary less than 30000 we made a separation like this and greater than 30000 so what we observed here above 30000 all are yes so from this now coming to less than 30000 is take the is a is less than 30 we are having all no 30 to 40 all s but when it comes to above 40 some s are some some of the customers are getting s some of them are getting no so when compared to this this decision tree and this one which one is giving good separation between the data data points that s and no data points this one is giving the good separation when we started with cell, we, we, we are not getting good separation at this point. So the goal of decision trees is to so come to reality. In reality, we are having hundreds of dimensions, means hundreds of columns. We seen most of the examples in our previous Amazon mobile data set and uh, cardio data sets. We are having hundreds of data columns. So the goal of decision tree is to identify a column that gives the best separation the same way here age is the column that is giving good separation means we separated we split in this split in this split again identify a column that gives the good separation like that we have to extend our decision trees how to pick the best column that is giving us good separation we'll understand in our next classes so this is what graphically you have to get an idea see the important point here is first we identified a column that gives the good separation out of 100 columns we identified a column that gives the good separation we made it as a root node then in this separation means we split in this split again identify a column that gives the good separation means in this split this graphical intuition is very very important so once the decision tree is identified suppose a new customer has come and his age is 50 and his salary is 25,000 so point comes here so how we it will do prediction using this decision tree using this majority class has been taken here how many no's are there how many yes so majority class majority class is taken into consideration the same way k nearest neighbors how k nearest knn works it will take the it will identify the nearest k points and pick the majority class the same way if we apply the decision logics when you come to the end we have to take the majority class that is how prediction is done so hope you understand this graphical intuition about decision trees how to identify these co columns and separate this we will discuss in our next couple of classes so hope you understand if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates